What's up everybody? Today we are going to be looking at just a few little Glios that I got in from a small package. I got sent over from Evan, a good friend of mine in the Glios and Crazy Bone world. Make sure to go follow him here on screen at his Instagram. He is very knowledgeable in a lot of this stuff, takes some really cool pictures, and his collection is very unique, has a lot of really cool rare stuff in it as well. So it's always fun to go look at other people in the hobby. So go follow him, and thank you again, Evan, for the package. I'm really enjoying these guys. They're super cool. Let's go check them out. All right, let's check out the package and the few little glios that are in here. This is all super collection specific, so more armivores, another skeleton, more things to just add to my continuing growing shelf of different pieces. Oh, I forgot there's some Mushis in here. Well, let's take a look at those first. I'm not sure which wave these Mushis are from, but I just really love the look of this gold and green metallic -y vibe. They look really sick, honestly. But there's a nice look of this one. Again, that just looks really sick with that metally green and everything. Uh, very similar vibes to the drop that Godbeast just had. I'll be doing a little review on those as well, but he's got some metallic -y stuff going on with some blacks. Very similar vibes, but instead of the black, we have this nice green and gold i don't know how these legs and feet are supposed to be they're like set up differently i guess to like stand more uniquely i suppose i'm not sure how that's supposed to go something kind of sort of i kind of dig it it's a different take on the little feet aspect of it and then we got the little reverse side to this where we just have the switched versions of the golden green with the head mixed up body mix switched whatever you want to call it so again kind of the same type of thing his feet are on the correct way on this one. Really sharp though, really cool. And Evan hooked me up, he gave me a good deal on those guys, kind of threw them in with the whole package. So thank you very much. Ooh, I like the little teal vibes highlights on the helmet here of this headpiece. That looks very nice. We got like the simple yellow on this one, but that teal looks really sharp. Then we got some armivores. This is a, I think this one's completely sealed. This is one of the more old school armivores. It's got this gray and little black highlights. And then it's got one of those little classic original like wolf heads we are going to break into this one because i'm going to be displaying so you know we got to get this stuff out but there we go a really sharp one this is from one of the earlier waves i believe not one of the the first drops of the armivores but one of the earlier ones so it's very very cool back when they still were doing the nice kind of wolf head design this is like an interesting yellow design for the wolf head let's do a swip swap on the head itself here so we can get a nicer look at how that would be on the figure looks very sharp actually i dig that little kind of bright highlighted yellow against that gray body that looks pretty sick too another one for the shelf ah and then we've got this very cool black and green very much my vibe as far as color aesthetic goes uh, i can't remember the name of this one but it's one i've been looking for for a while i kind of spotted it here and there on like ebay and such but just haven't found a good deal on it yet but now I did. Check out that monstrosity. That looks sick. Very cool look with that green and black. I love it. It's got the nice like pink highlights of different features on his gloves and armor and helmet. It does have, I forget what these guys' names are called. I'm not the biggest fan of those heads. Luckily, it did come with the traditional armivore head as well. So there we go, ba-bang, ba-boom, looking very sick. We can even flip it around and look at that doggo head as well. There it is. That looks actually really clean with that nice green. That looks very sharp. Another one that I had been looking to get but haven't found a good deal on either was this little armivore critter. This is the Mangalore armivore. So I had spotted him before. I didn't realize it was from the Mangalore line uh, until like the Mangalores came out and I was like, oh wait, they did like cool variations with more of the classic O'Neill stuff, uh, with armivores, with other guys, with the skeletons. I actually have the skeleton Mangalore variant, I guess, but I didn't realize, I didn't put two and two together until the Mangalore stuff came out. So now I actually have the armivore Mangalore, which looks pretty dope. Got that green and purple. It's a very much, it's a much darker green actually than Husk's been kind of like more of like a pea green almost. Again, got this helmet, which is fine. It is cool. I got to utilize these heads somewhere. I just don't know what to put them on yet, but I got to go back to the OG. So we're going to put that on. There it is. The Mangalore Armivore with the little wolf cat head and then the doggo wolf cat head, not cat, dog head. Very, very sharp, very cool. I think I like this one a little bit better on the Mangalore one, but he looks pretty sick. Glad to finally have this one uh, again, because it's like one that 
I've been keeping my eye out for and then the Manglers came out I was like oh yeah I definitely got to get that one for the collection and then lastly we have one skeleton one that I don't have yet surprisingly because I have so many of them now of these guys but this is the Demon Slither Mangalore a very very cool piece uh, I think this was more of a uh, promotional type thing like you had to pay extra for it or you had to be part of a little fan club in order to get this one so this is more of an exclusive skeleton figure which is very cool so not one you see super often and of course it's just it floats around here and there i'm sure but not one you see very often just because it was a more exclusive thing but he looks absolutely dope i have one vaguely similar to this it's got like a lighter tone of pink kind of the same kind of vibe but this is more of like a maroony purple on him and then it's got this kind of more orangey pink uh, along with that ooh, that nice teal highlight again once again that teal really comes through very nicely on these figures today and i'm digging it that looks sick but again like my skeletons like I've, I've been catching up pretty quickly on all the releases of the skeletons so i'm not missing very many at this point i feel like i have to make an actual tally and find out what i actually am missing for sure for sure but this is kind of one of those ones that i was not super aware of or passed over or something so when evan was like hey i got this one i had to look it up and be like oh yeah i don't have that and that's more exclusive so i'm totally in for grabbing that guy for the the little shelf over here some of which i had been looking for for a minute but then we had some nice little extra surprises with the caputo mushis and getting a nice new skeleton was just perfect i've been doing a lot of glios building lately too swap swapping pieces so i wanted to show off a couple of little things i was seeing and this is a mighty maniac's head with the mangalore that just came out come on how good does that look i don't know i just wanted to show off some of the stuff i've been fiddling with with all my extra pieces so this guy just looks stellar very uh creature from the black lagoon vibes obviously it's kind of what the headpiece is going for a little bit but it works very well with this nice tall body shape i think i've been also practicing with some fabric so i kind of made a cape for this dude kind of threw him together made him a little belt and a cape i tried to like burn the cape like frizz the ends or something it didn't work it didn't work at all unfortunately but it was fun to kind of practice and just throw on some fabric on a glass because i do think it makes them look super cool shoot i even had my wife build in she was actually working on this piece for a while and she finally completed it because i forced her to i was like you got to finish building your piece she had it like half done and just hadn't found the time to finish it up but she finally did it came out pretty sick i kind of like the vibe she went for here using a bunch of mushi parts onel parts and even some geodrexis parts let me know what you guys think about this i'm super happy that she was able to understand the struggle of glios building a little bit more uh just how tedious it can be sometimes but the end product the end result always looks super fun and super interesting so i'm glad she got into it with me for a little bit just to make her own thing and then i actually just made these guys today very new pieces with my extra armivore piece my nice little blue one and then some of the new bio monster bio creatures uh they look pretty dope very happy with how this guy turned out he's got like this kind of horned vibes he's got a good aesthetic he's got a lot of character i think i'm gonna take some nice pictures put them on the instagram soon so make sure you're watching for that and then of course whenever i build with like two figures i try to like contain myself with two figures see what i can come up with something unique and cool and then i try to always see what i can build with all the extra remaining parts so this was my little extra remaining part guy and he came out pretty dope too honestly i like his look he's got big beefy arms muscly arms he's stubby and short and he's got this little like blocky robot head but he came out pretty dope i like him so i'm excited to take some pictures with those guys that's for sure i never get to like show on camera some of my builds i've been working on and stuff because i don't have a ton of time to do them but when i do it is fun to kind of show them off and just give you guys an idea of what's possible with the glios lines especially some of these newer ones that you've been seeing and just some of the unique characters that you can kind of create on your own that's going to be it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed that one if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more galios content coming your way very soon again god beast will be happening very soon and hopefully onel drop will be getting announced very soon too i'm crossing my fingers for that one have a great rest of your week and we will see you guys in the next video